first day going vegan and my first meal is some nuts some almond nuts I can see some cashew nuts some raisins uh, what else yeah it's still day one and I'm about to have this for dinner it's just a vegetable pilau and my family's having some KFC but I feel Shalom Israel it's the second day going vegan today and the time is about about 9 30 and I haven't really eaten anything however I do have some nuts to go if I do feel hungry because I'm kind of fasting at the moment um and some coconut water and today we're going vegan shopping so come shopping with me so we are at Auckland getting some avocados. I'm getting about 12 the last few days. Let's go to the next one. Okay, now, so I just had the dairy product aisle and I'm gonna get some soy milk. I was planning to get some almond milk, but it's so expensive. Shalom Israel. So we're just at the cheese area at I'm having trouble finding some vegan cheese. I had um, a non animal rennet. I do not know what that means. Shalom. So we just came through some organic mayonnaise. It's egg free and vegan. Jerusalem. <laughs> So it's the second day and I'm just having some tomato soup with mushrooms, some celery and rice as you can see and using a little bit of low sodium salt and my husband's just having a test taste. How do you think it is? Okay. It's nice, it's spicy, I think it's the ginger and we also added some skin from the oranges and apples which makes it taste bitter. There's a lot of lumps, I'm not sure if we're juicing it right but hopefully in time as the days go by it will be better. Cheers! Shalom Israel! So I'm just prepping some breakfast. It's just rolled oats, a few strawberries topped with chia seeds and I had some coconut um, drink water, I mean coconut water and gonna have this for tomorrow. So for dinner we had oh, um, my husband and my daughter, oh no actually my daughter ate with me. He had roast chicken and um, a salad and some potatoes and a lamb flap and I had my daughter and I had um, a vegan pasta it was like this brand we had this with some tofu chickpeas um, mushrooms and soy sauce all that seasoning and stuff and it was good like that was like the bestest meal I've had so far that I made. Um, 
yeah it was really nice and also i need to show you something <laughs> Israel so it's day four today and I just had some porridge with my daughter in the porridge I had some honey and soy milk now I'm just having a juice which contains mango cucumbers mom, mom, kale carrots mom, apples oranges and a mango and just to top it up I'm just having some chia seeds and it tastes delicious it tastes very um like a boost of energy and she's Thank going to you. have some what do you think of it baby hmm? what does it taste like what does it tastes like mango oh it tastes like mango yeah yummy mango oh good girl you can have it shalom is uh, it's about 10 a.m in the morning on a friday and Yay. my daughter and i are just going for a morning walk at Kirkbush in Papakura. It's so beautiful. I love the fresh air. I love being in nature. So it's day 11 here during my 30 day challenge going vegan and I have been pretty good I mean I've been feeling a lot more um, energized and I have been losing a lot of weight all of the fats on my body I've been losing it just from eating vegan one time I made vegan carrot muffins and I had to use my dream butter which contained dairy milk products so I was thinking do I fail but I'm still going to carry on because the whole purpose of this is um, a healthier lifestyle. And it has made me realize a lot of things to change in the way that I cook for my family. So I hope that you guys will continue watching this. 30 days come. Shalom family. I'm going to weigh myself with my daughter um, at the Mangri Health Clinic um, at the town center. And I'm quite nervous. Day 12. Let's see how we do. Let's go. Shalom. So I weighed myself. I weigh 97 kgs. The last time I weighed myself was about 101. So I definitely lost a lot of weight. And um, I'm just going to make some lunch for my husband and myself and my daughter. So look what we made. <laughs> So it's day 30 today. We just finished the Sabbath sundown and I'm gonna prep breakfast tomorrow, which is gonna be some raw rolled, rolled oats and some berries and also some um some seeds, chia seeds, pumpkin seeds and whatnot. So check it out. <laughs> Shalom again, so it is my day 15. And um, it's morning, it's about 9am, I'm just having some um, apple cider vinegar and lemon with some water. Also, I'm having some porridge with a few blueberries. Um, this cost about 10 bucks at Countdown and it's a one kg, so I thought that was pretty, a pretty good deal that um, we got. So, yeah, lately it's been pretty good. I've felt more energized in the mornings like i don't sleep in anymore um what else i am still continuing to lose a lot of weight and um yeah i just feel more happier and i am getting a lot more fuller with some with some um protein vegetables that don't contain any dairy products or meat so i'm pretty proud of myself that i have reached over two weeks i'm halfway there and i'm gonna continue to 
to be there. So here is a bowl of porridge. I put some cranberries, some pumpkin seeds, some flax seeds and soy milk with a little bit of brown sugar. Also, I put some blueberries and strawberries. I'm ready to eat. Oh, whoops. Some chia seeds. I did add that too and I'm just having that with some tea. Israel, so it's day 25 and I must admit I wasn't being vegan 24-7 for the challenge. I mean I've last week I've had um I had this mince um shepherd pie thing that I made for the family and yeah so I thought I'd just admit that because thou shall not lie. I have been eating, I have been slipping and I'm still carrying on to try to be a vegan. Like it is hard, it is tempting and um yeah I pray that I I took something out of the challenge to um, be healthier and stop binge eating and and um, just eating a lot of foods that mean nothing to our body that would do nothing for our body and so anyways I'm making some lunch today I'm having some um, what is it called Fa falil falil I think I'm saying it wrong but um, this mix it looks nice and I'm super hungry. I've been intimate fasting, um, of course. So I am losing a bit of weight. Not as fast as I did when I first started. So six days. Let's go. Here I have some roasted chickpeas, some kale, cooked kale and um, lentil seeds, I think. Also, I added some quinoa and some tahini sauce mix. And also I'm having that with some falafel mix. Patties or whatever you call it. It's nice. Day 28 today and I'm so excited to finish this challenge. I mean, so I can just go back to cooking meals for all of us instead of separate meals. And it's been quite expensive doing this vegan challenge. Because nowadays fruit and veggies are double the price it used to be before this COVID crisis. So, I'm so glad. I'm so grateful. Praises that I got this far. I mean, I did, um, I did, like, have a few snacks with, with some, um, non-vegan foods, but, um, the main goal of this was to see where I can go and how far I can do it, and I, I've done it, like, I've achieved it, well, not yet, two days. So it's my so. second to last day, I've only got one more day, then I can finish, um, it's the Sabbath here, so... Tomorrow we have this family function, which I am making some salad and um, a vegan macaroni. So, that is the last meal of the challenge, of course. Shalom, so it's my last day today going vegan. Um, for lunch, I actually had a steak. So, am I disappointed? No. Should I be? No, but I'm definitely going to cook um, a lot more vegan and switch it up with some meats. Also, um, buy a lot of vegetables. I haven't had kale before, so I'm definitely going to buy more of that. Spinach, I hear Dr. Sibi said that spinach is quite useless. It does nothing nutritional for us. I definitely enjoyed this challenge, this 30 day challenge. Nobody nominated me. I just got inspired by Sister Amber. Sis, I miss you. And um, thank you for everyone who watched this long ass video. Um, do subscribe and like and comment. Shalom. Please share not in your mind. You miss your loveliness. Bye.